Hello everybody, welcome back to CSC Let's Play, and let's dig right back into Xenonauts. We had our first mission, went pretty well. And we're still waiting on Area 55 over in North America to build up. So, yeah, I like, yeah. So here we go, back to the base, and everybody heal up. And we gotta wait a little bit. Extra strength speed. And actually, don't let me forget, oh, I don't even have to tell you guys to research this. Cool. Kazian. Kazian? Caesian? Caesarian? Is Julius back? I don't know. That seems weird. Humanoid alien stands approximately 5 feet 7 inches tall. Physically weaker and less hardy than humans, with bone fractures to create at only 60% of the force required to fracture human bone. Telepathic link with one another? Genetic modification at the cellular level. Caesian tissue presents only a single sex chromosome, and more importantly, samples taken from multiple enemy combatants show that they are genetically identical. That is, they are all clones. Huh. Alright. Don't know what to make of that. But, I... Alright, and that's the ship that we raided uh, when we fought the aliens. So this is actually like the... Front, I guess. Doesn't mean it knows the template, but, 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 but poor combat performance. All right, moving on. So, as I was saying, I want to start up my Baldur's Gate playthrough soon, but I want to ask you guys, all out there in the wide world of the internet, what race you want me to play? Non-combat analysis. Uh, but, but. Uh, only lightly armed and perform poorly in groundside combat. All right, that's good. Baldur's Gate, I want to know... I'm trying to talk here. I'm trying to talk to audience. Game is paused, so... I want to know in Baldur's Gate what race you want me to play. Human, elf, half-elf, whatever. I don't know them all at the top of my head. But if you could name a fantasy race, I can probably play it. Maybe it'd be kind of funny if I played a gnome or something. And also, what class? Fighter, wizard, barbarian, ranger, cleric. I've done human cleric a couple times because I was bored. And it's kind of a stereotypical class for me to play. I like playing healing classes. But if you think it's something that's either better for the game, that I might enjoy as a newbie, or that would be funnier if I was, say, a gnome barbarian, a two-foot-tall raging berserker, then we can roll with that, too. But leave your suggestions down in the comments. And back to Xenonauts. Okay, crash sites available. Local forces have downed a small alien craft. You guys are on it, aren't you? Okay, crash site 2. Way out in Russia this time, but let's... Scouting mission. So... Oh, that's the type of mission that the aliens can go on. But let's close that. And... Um, I want to check who we have on the ship. Oh, you, actually. I'm going to rename to... Um, Kaylin. Kaylin Dickinson, because she's got the pink ponytail going on, so hello Mars Girl, welcome to Xenonauts. I hope you survived the trip. Cor Corporal Kaylin Dickinson. And we have one shield. I think I'm actually gonna bring along a second shield person, but we got five soldiers who we can take along, so let's see. Who do I want to take along? you got good accuracy, good reflexes, good strength, but not a lot of time units. You can't go very far. Who's got the most time units? Okay, you got 60. You got 49. 60, and everything else is kind of subpar. 58 accuracy. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with Max Schwartz. Let's go with him. And let's make him... Strength, accuracy, and reflexes. Let's just keep him as a rifleman for now. But you are going to be assigned to a dropship. And we need someone who's got a good shield. So we need someone with good strength to carry the shield around. Okay, mars has got good strength, actually. He's got good strength. Not you. You're good. We're through 63. Actually, you know what? Max Schwartz, congratulations on your, uh, on your promotion to shieldman. Good job, buddy. It'd be nice if I could give them an SMG instead of a pistol. Hmm. But, I can't. So, now that that's set up, let's arrange everybody out in the 
Pistol, pistol, pistol. Okay, there's another pistol, pistol, pistol. There. The pistol guys are going to be on the side. Two riflemen on the side. Uh, sniper. Yeah, ballistic. And two shots. So we got three riflemen, a sniper, and two shotgunners, and two riflemen. Which I think. Well, that should be a decent setup for now. But let's put one of our. Rough them out front. All right, I think that's a good setup. Actually, no, let's put the shotgunners next to the doors as well so that they can provide a little backup if need be. I think that's a good setup. So with all that taken care of, let's head out to the crash site and intercept with Charlie. That came actually came around a lot quicker than I thought it would. I thought that we still three days. This is going really quick. I thought that we would have a lot longer between our first two missions, because I'm, what, I'm six minutes into this recording. I really thought that that would take a lot shorter. So where is this near? Oh, this is actually, like, in not in Russia. This is in China? Where is that Russia? All right, let's do this. Let's do this. It's funny, for such a, a low graphics intensive game, the combat actually takes quite some time to load. But it's fun, and it's good and tense, and I like it. So now, oh no, it's a nighttime mission. Oh, oh dear. <sighs> okay, well... This is a problem. This means we can't see as far as we normally could. Okay. First things first. We've got to take a peek out the doors. And we see one right from the get-go. Oh no, he's right near a civilian. And there's a car blocking the way. Can you take the shot? Gosh darn it. Okay. You know what? Maybe I can still get a shot off if I take a snapshot instead. And... Still blocked! Okay, so you're gonna have... I'm gonna have you not reserve any time units and crouch down so you're a smaller target. And now we have our first target. There's a sniper. Dang, that alien is actually in a really bad place, but... Oh, there's a policeman there! There's a policeman armed with a shotgun! So even if we can't kill the alien... Maybe he can. But let's check the other door. Stick the protocol. Stick the protocol. Okay, so that's the edge of the map here. So we're in the far back corner. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Let's think here. Let's think, 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 think. I doubt you're going to be able to take the shot from that angle. Yeah, no, cargo thing's blocking the way. So let's just have you... Oh, that's a gas camshaft. That might blow up. Let's have you move up. You're out of time now. But hey, if there's smoke, then that probably means that the alien crash ship is down this way. Oh, there's another civilian there. Oh, we're not going to save all the civilians. Okay. Let's have you... Gosh darn it, how do we... It's not possible to save... It's not, it's not going to be possible to get a shot off on this guy unless we are really good with throwing a grenade. How, how much time does it take? to 33 time units to throw a grenade. So we need to save 33 time units. And let's see how far we can throw this. And oh, that's just outside our range. Actually, count up people completed time units reserved for snapshot. Nope, that's fine. I don't want snapshot. I want you to... Oh, come on. Let's just try this. Where did it land? I don't see the grenade. Uh, that might come back to bite us. And he's not enough time for him to duck. All right, let's move up, everybody. Move up, move up, move up. Oh, there's a second alien. There's a second one. Way over there. And again, the car's blocking him, too. 
Gosh darn it. Okay. Yep, car's blocking him. So I could shoot the car, though. That's a thing I could do. Wasted a round of ammunition, but... Gosh darn it. Okay, so... You... I want you to save some time if you can. Yeah, you're going to move up here. And you're going to take a shot at... Oh, the car's blocking me by half a shot. Oh! Good! Good shot! Okay, I hit him a little bit. Not enough to really, like, do a ton of damage. And now he's staying out in the open. So, where's my shield guy? Shield guy, run up here. Don't do anything else. Just take the shot. Just take the shot and... Well, yeah, okay, you don't have time to do anything. He doesn't have enough time units. But he's going to stand there and he's going to eat the shot. And you are just going to... Actually, I'm going to have you not run up all the way. I'm going to see if you can... Is, a 50, is that a 50 or a 58% chance to hit? But he's at least going to... Nope, didn't think that'll work. But I at least wanted to try it. And last but not least is you, who's going to run... Uh, actually, you know what? You're going to save your snapshot. Some time for a snapshot. Gosh darn it. Okay. This is not going... Oh, good, that's where the grenade landed. Good! Oh, good job! Good job, Pop! Wow! You just killed a civilian, and now he got away, and he got shot. <sighs> We're off to a good start here. How are you doing, buddy? You are... Man, that one shot took you down to, like, half health. Officer, like, I don't want you on this job. You, however, though... Okay, so if there's an opening in the fence, there's a chance. Yep, take the shot. Oh, come on, seriously? And we missed. And we're going to crouch down. And we need a shotgunner. You. Mars goal. Gosh darn it, you need to learn to run more. You... Well, now that we don't have to worry about hitting the civilian at all, let's just kill this guy. There we go. Good shot. Good job, Boris. Good job. As your reward, I'm going to let you pull the med kit out of your bag and heal yourself up a little bit. Good. And now you can't do anything else for your turn. Okay. Good job, Boris. Okay, now what, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, shoot. And Boris is now blocking the way for everyone else to get through. Alright. I'm going to have to do this the long way. I'm not going to have anyone else throw a grenade. Uh, yeah. Guys, come on. Learn to throw. For Pete's sake. I guess that's the maximum range I can throw. So you're just going to move on up. Move on up and crouch behind the car for cover. And everyone else is going to try and just move their way around Boris's fat butt. Maybe you can get a shot off. And that's a no. Good job, Jennifer Jenkins. If you die, I might laugh because... <clears throat> okay... Mars Girl, I kind of want Mars Girl to live, because she's so far as, like, <clears throat> she's actually got ranks, and I want to keep her alive. Yeah, I heard, I thought I heard the sound of a window breaking. <sighs> okay, Sniper, he's going to come around. Actually, no, he's going to come around this way, and can we look at the alien? Yeah, we can. Alien plasma battery. Alien Plasma Rifle. And this is the Cesian Guard Corpse. That's a guard. <clears throat> okay. You know, as fun as it will be to, you, to pick up the Plasma Rifle and use it, we haven't researched it yet, so we won't be able to, which makes sense. But, still frustrating. You are a long way back. Move on up, soldier. Move on up. Actually, don't move that far up. Uh, too late. I couldn't think of where to send him in time. And that leaves you left. 
And you can still get there. Not enough. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have you stand in front of them so we have a shield bin there. Okay, good. Gotta love that shield. And, okay, we're getting shot from that, that way. Wow, a lot of us got suppressed. That's not good, because we lose a lot of action. No, Max! Max, keep it together! Alright, Mars Girl, um... Oh, yeah, we lost time because we got suppressed. Okay, so, Mars Girl, I want you to step forward. Can you see what's shooting us? Yes, you can. Ooh, not, not good, not a good chance, but... And that's a miss. Okay. Where's our sniper? You're the sniper? Shield guy, move up. Shield guy... Take shot. Good. Okay. Now... Hmm. Mars girl is... Oh, you lost your shield already? Wow. Okay. Okay. So... Hmm, okay. How far can you move? You can't. Gosh darn it. Okay. I swear, if you guys die, we lost a shield man? One of our shields already? You know what? Uh, you are crouched. So yeah, take the shot. 72% chance to hit. Really? Come on, man. Get it together. Get it together. Eh, God, you all suck. You all suck and I hate you. Okay, 95% chance to hit. Come on, baby. There we go. That's how it's done. Okay. Okay. Brayden, I'm keeping you as a sniper because I can actually count on you. Nothing in here, though. And, yeah, you don't have a shot because you're, the wall's right in your way. Okay, um, that's... Yeah, wow. Somebody's gonna die this turn. <sighs> Called it. And there goes Mark Schwartz. Okay. And... Nobody's panicking? Good. Okay, that was a reaction shot. How do you miss when he's that close to you? How? How do you miss? Mars Girl, save him. Thank you. Okay, good job. So, now that we've gotten ourselves out of this initial little cluster, I think the best step would be to advance the ship, but we still have a full squad left. So, everyone, let's move on up. Actually, no, you get your gun back out. For starters. And leave enough time left for a snapshot, because I have a feeling we might need it. And there's the spaceship. One of those light scouts again. You know, I will say I gotta give credit to the local law enforcement dudes for actually being able to down an alien spaceship by themselves. So, yeah, good job, guys. Mars Gold doesn't have time to really go anywhere. You, get in front of her. And Mars Gold will start to make the walk. Can't go all the way, but it's better than nothing. Soldier number two. Sniper? Sniper crouch, you have a better reaction shot if you miss. Nope, civilian running. <laughs> this is not going as smoothly as I would like. Okay, I'm gonna send our shield man in first so he can eat the shot. Nothing? Nothing? Okay, nothing so far. 
Nothing so far. Okay. Um, so far, so good. Which makes me nervous. It's a good rule of thumb in XCOM. Whenever things are going well, or, or XCOM or Xenonauts, really, whenever things are going well, start to get nervous because something gonna go wrong soon. All right, Mars girl, let's book it. You, who can't shoot for crap, you book it too, and you. Nothing? Nothing? Okay. Okay, let's not get close until we're ready for this, because last time things... We already lost a soldier, and breaching the ship was where we lost someone last time, so I actually kind of want to try and do this smart-like. And that leaves. Come on, Mars. And you. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got some ground to cover. Actually, you know what? You. I'm the action starts, you're not going to be a much good. So I want you to head towards this door and poke your head in. After we're done with the ship, that's where everyone's going to go. Okay, good. Nothing over there. I got nervous for a moment. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Nothing? Man, I am really starting to get nervous now, actually. Sniper dude, stack up here and turn that way. You have a shot in if you need to. Stack up there, face the door. You get there, face the door. Shield boy, you're gonna take the shot. You're gonna eat the shot, more like it. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. There's no need to worry whatsoever. I swear if they kill Mars Girl, I'm gonna be really upset. Actually, shield guy, do you have a grenade left? Yeah, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. You. Yeah. There we go. Okay, he's suppressed. You have enough time left? But this is 21, okay. Good shot. I'll kind of say the grenade for last. And that's a miss on everybody's counts. So in goes... Oh, you don't have time for the grenade. Gosh darn it. Okay, in goes Mars Girl. And she just... She didn't kill him, but she's going to run back out. And now when his turn begins, the door's going to shut. So he would have to run out to actually... Do anything to us. I'm gonna save time so he can actually get up a shot. I thought that's how. Okay, good, good. He only got the one shot off? Okay, let's do this again. There we go. Hey! Wow, really? Okay. Max Schwartz. Oh, wait, Schwartz didn't die. Nobody died. <gasps> we got lucky. Corporal Mark Schwartz survived with one HP left as we dragged his broken butt back to the dropship, wounded for 33 days. Wow. So we're not going to see him for a while. Corporal Boris Polsky. He was one of our shotgunners. Um, why did he take a hit? Okay. 
but he's okay. A lot of promotions, including Mars Girl. Mars Girl got promoted to Sergeant. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We saved one of the civilians, and technically speaking, none of the aliens killed the civilian. So we can blame the Chinese or Russian police. I'm not racist. I'm not racist, but he shot him. So, yeah, good job to the Area 88 crew. Come on back home. Oh, and that's our first UFO that we can actually shoot down. So let's intercept them. Let's send... Fun thing about this, besides that's different from regular XCOM, you can send... Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have two already. Okay. So UFO, so we have two UFOs that we can take care of. Good news is we have two fighter jets. So, and UFO two intercepted. Oh wow, you are you're not a scout. You're bigger. So let's see if we can take you down. I want you to hit him with everything you can. And let's see how we do here. We got range on them. Okay. Wow. No, that's not going so well. Bring him down. Bring him down. Bring him down. Stay out of his range. Come on. Are we hitting him? Oh, uh, I don't have a good feeling about this. And we lost the Condor. Gosh darn it. Okay, so let's see. So Condor 2 is not destroyed. So we don't have to buy a new one, we just have to go out and pick up the Marines and bring them back to Area 88 and recover them that way, which is kind of a pain. Okay, but this one we can auto-resolve with a 100% victory rating, even though the only we lose it because it's in the ocean. Just tail it until it's over land. And now let's auto-resolve 100% victory. Alright, good. We got it, we destroyed it. And we didn't, this counter, the counter didn't even get hurt. So the bigger ship, we might need to send multiple fighter jets after it at once. So you return to base because there's not much you can do. And so we have another ship on there. We can go out and attack. Two days left until Area 55 is online. Although we'll have to build everything else around it as well. Actually, another fun thing, if you want to, Leave names that you want to change your soldiers to down in the comments, and I'll name our soldiers after your suggestions. Uh, disclosure, they may not survive, and I am not responsible for their safety. Name them at your own risk. But I think, actually, we're going to save this one, which, if I'm not mistaken, is somewhere around Casablanca. I'm going to save that one the next time we come back to CSCLP. But... Leave suggestions for soldier names, for Xenonauts, and also for player, character, race, and classes for Baldur's Gate. And I will see you next time. Bye!